Hey, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center. I've got a million hat tips to give you today, so stay tuned. Um, I've got my trusty uh, Telecaster here, so I'm going to play you know, how nice that looks. Look at that. Anyway, I'm going to play you a song by the Beach Boys that I've never, ever played before. I've never really listened to it a lot, um, but I heard it... Uh, I saw it at somebody, I think it was uh, the Colbert Report, one of those guys, yeah, they, they're like playing from home, um, guy from the Beach Boys, uh, he sang this, God Only Knows, and it's a, a wonderful, wonderful song, um, I'm going to try to play it for the first time, I, I'm going to lie, I played it once before this, um, and I kind of screwed up, so then, you know, I erased it, and we're starting again, but it's really my first time playing it. And uh, every time I play it, I always think of one person, uh, my beautiful wife. So, here we go. I may not always love you, but long as there's stars above you, you never need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. God only knows what I'd be without you. If you should ever leave me, though life would still go on, leave me. The world could show nothing to me. So what good would living do me? God only knows what I'd be without you. If you should ever leave me, though life would still go on me, the world could show nothing to me. So what good would living do me? God only knows what I feel without you. God only knows what I do without you. All right, well, at least I got through it. I made a few mistakes, but it felt good. It was a, a nice heartfelt song or whatever. It's hard to do stuff like that for me. I'm, I'm used to like, you know, kind of like big boss man. Everything I do is very bluesy, you know. You ain't so big. Well, you just don't last just about. You can see the fingering is very easy. You could just go finger, finger. It's super easy to do. If I do it in this key, it's like doing less, you know. And I guess that span is pretty hard. That's a hard span, but whatever. It's easy. Um, let's get back to hats. Now, getting back to the whole, like, trying to show you guys everything that I know, we got to talk about a few different options that you have as a hat bar. You've got Western hats, dress hats, also known as fedoras. And you've got caps. Caps have two different styles. Ivy caps, which are a narrow, flat cap, very simple. And newsboy caps, which are more baggy, nostalgic looking. You could look up newsboy cap, Google image, and look up ivy cap or flat cap. They're completely different styles. The ivy cap is going to be more plain, more laid back, subtle, less going on. It's simple, it's skinny. If you don't like bagginess, it has almost nothing hanging off the sides. It's very skinny this way. 
the newsboy goes out a bit. It's baggy on the sides. Now, both of these styles come in summer styles and winter styles, wool or linen and cotton and stuff, depending on what you want. And both styles come wide or narrow. So you could get an ivy cap that's skinny, super skinny, or, or a big baggy ivy cap, or you could get a newsboy cap that's really super big, like a big apple, or a skinny little you know apple. It's all the construction in Applejack, uh, newsboy, um, it's all the same thing. Also known as eight piece caps. They have a button and then pie slices, like, you know, cutting a pie, a pizza slice. A flat cap that doesn't have any button, doesn't have any of that stuff. Knows, you know, it's less going on. It's simple. That's called an ivy cap. It's good to start with an ivy for a lot of people. If you like a baggier look, if you have a bigger face, if you're a bigger guy, sometimes ivies can be too narrow for some of those people. You could go with a newsboy. Um, I'll show you some examples. Hold on. Okay. Here's an ivy cap. Ivy cap is just a regular flat cap, British kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. Michael Jordan used to wear those things backwards with kangles and stuff. It's a wedge shape, essentially. See the wedge? That is a flat cap. Some of them come with none of the side stuff, like really skinny. Um, not a duck bill, just an ivy cap that's skinny. Same construction. We don't do much duck bills. That's a trend kind of a thing. And it looks almost like a baseball cap, so we just don't do them. Um, but we do ivy caps that are so skinny that nothing sticks out on the side. Or wider ones, like the Irish stuff or some of the baggier ones. You know. Now, a newsboy cap is different construction. It has, see that, a button and eight sections. Right? It, it usually has a snap here. It snaps down. Okay? Some of them, like Spitfires, have no snaps. Like this one. You could go back to the side or forward. Spitfire is a three-way cap. Forward. Like a newsboy, back, Spitfire style, or to the side. You break it down three different ways. Now you could do it to a newsboy too, but if you bring a newsboy back, you're gonna see a snap here. So yeah, you could wear it like a Spitfire, but there's a big snap there. A lot of people don't like that, especially gals, because girls wear the Spitfire way all the time. If you don't like the snap hanging out there, you buy a Spitfire. Otherwise, most people keep it this way. So a three-way cap, you push it forward, then you wear it like this. It's a newsboy. Same deal. Same deal. That's a newsboy. You see the flop on the sides? This is a medium, medium width to wider newsboy. They make them skinnier. They make them really wide that come out here. The Big Apple is one thing that we sell at jjhatcenter.com, but it's not on our menu or our website. You have to call and ask what colors we have. They come in linen, white, black, navy blue, beige, natural, not beige. They come in uh, solid walls, you know, black, navy, uh, charcoal, gray, brown, or uh, herringbones, gray herringbone, brown herringbone. They come in tweed, gray herring, gray tweed, brown tweed, and they also come in leather, black leather, brown leather. This is the Big Apple. Super rare. It's about this wide. Um, the Big Apple is the widest of all newsboys. It's a specialty hat. Most people don't like it when they see it. There are things that are big and baggy that are not as big as the Big Apple. The Big Apple is super, super exaggerated. It's probably not for you unless you're a bigger guy or a really jaunty kind of, you know, cool guy who's got, like, lots of cool stuff, you know, in his collection. You, you know, you like big brims, high crowns, flashy colors. Uh, an apple is, you know, Big Apple is very big. A regular Applejack or Newsboy should do it for most people. If you're looking for something wider, try the JJ Newsboy. Um, something smaller, the Stetson line, the Hatteras, the Orchard, Newsboy, all smaller things. All right. Now, you've got Westerns, you've got dress hats. Dress hats essentially come in fur felt or wool felt. Uh, wool felt will be cheaper, fur, fur felt will be better. We've discussed this before. You also have another category that's called crushable hats. Rollable crushable hats, the giveaway is when you look inside, generally there's no leather and there's no lining, no satin lining in here. When you see a hat, it's got no leather here, no silk lining. It's not because they're trying to save money and they're trying to be cheap. It's generally crushable. No, almost always say it in the crown here. Rollable, crushable, packable, light felt. If it's made in USA, it's probably good. Um, if it's made in China or something like that, it's probably okay, but not as good. 
light felt is a uh, patented material that they use for rollable hats. You could get fur felt rollable hats too. Um, they're more expensive, they're a little bit more temperamental, but there are ones that work very well. You have to just, uh, you know, watch what you buy and stuff. They could be very thin, very light. Um, the trick to those is that they don't have leather inside, so the leather generally sticks to your head very well. When you have a ribbon sweatband inside, it can slip get, and blow off your head. So, first of all, you gotta put it not on your hair, you gotta brush your hair away, put the, the little ribbon sweatband right against your head, what you do is you put the hat on front first. That's all you do, okay? Don't just do this. Push your hair away, put it on front first, okay? The other thing is you might have to tighten it to adjust it. So in the back, behind your head, right inside here, you could put some padding. You could use uh, foam insulation, what it's called weather stripping, the adhesive type, something called polyfoam weather, weather polyfoam weather, I forgot what they call it. Weather stripping, weather guard, polyphone. I don't know. You go to the hardware store or to you know website. You look for um, insulation, weather stripping, and heat with adhesive. Three eighths of an inch is good, or anything close. Quarter is good. Um, I like three eighths of an inch. You put a little underneath there. Now you could also buy a product called sweat bands, which can go against the skin. It goes right here in the front over the sweatband. The idea of that is it's made out of cotton and it's absorbent. If you don't have a leather sweatband, you might sweat through your hat. The whole purpose of a sweatband is to block the perspiration so you don't get lots of stains here. Now that's what this is for too. This will soak up sweat, keep it away from there, um, but only for a certain amount of time. Eventually it'll go further into the felt. So if you see this is saturated with salt and sweat, you gotta change that band soon or you got to put a sweat wick inside. It's called a sweat band on our site, www.jjhatcenter.com. Or just look up JJ Hat Center. And, you know, you'll find our site. $5, buy something called a sweat band. You stick it in here. It's a sticker that basically will stick and stay in there forever for 20 years, 30 years, unless you change it. You pull it out, you have to put another one right in its place because there'll be sticky residue. No big deal because when it's time to get a sweat whip, your hat needs it anyway pretty much forever, so you're going to want it, trust me. Um, it's the only thing that will keep your hat from getting sweaty. So if you have like a $500 Panama or, you know, more expensive or cheaper, whatever, 200 doesn't matter how much. You don't want to sweat through that like $1,000 Panama the first day you wear it. Put a sweat wick in. Keep it in your pocket. You start to see something poking through, put the wick in. The sweat will never even touch the hat. Again, we don't we call it a sweat wick in the shop, but uh, it's really called a sweat band on uh, GG Hat Center's website. Okay, so essentially, sweat is going to get blocked by a leather sweat band. Now, there are pros and cons. A leather sweat band will keep your hat on better. It'll keep it from blowing away. Okay, it'll give it a nice weight and it'll keep it from blowing away too. It also blocks intense amounts of perspiration. It will keep way more sweat from going through to the hat and staining your hat. If you have a cloth band or a ribbon band in here, it's way less protection. It's like 1% compared to like 100%. Way, way, way big difference. Um, so leather sweat bands will make your hat last longer. It will block the sweat. And when your hat gets sweaty here, you generally want to throw it out. Leather sweatband also adds weight, makes your hat heavier. So in the summer, leather sweatband will block the sweat, keep your hat you know, from getting sweaty, but it's way heavier. That's why they don't use it. It's like walking around on a 90 degree day of Fahrenheit for you uh, Brits and guys out there using the metric system. If you're out there on a burning hot summer day, you have a leather belt wrapped around your head. Just think about that, a wide leather belt Okay, tightly around your head, just picture that. And then your hat, fur hat on top of that, straw hat on top of that, whatever. That belt is gonna be so hot. You don't wanna walk around with a leather belt around your head, right? Okay, that's why they don't make them in summer hats a lot. Sweat wick is what you need to do. You need to buy that thing with sweat bands. It's the only way to keep your hat from getting sweaty, pretty much. Um, they do stay wet, which kinda sucks, but uh, when you get to that point, it's the only thing that'll help your hat. 
and you buy two or three of them. So when it starts getting funky, you rip it out and you change it. That's what I do. They're in every single one of my hats I use at work, uh, all the green ones and everything. Not the hats I use at home, because I don't work in these. And, um, okay, I'm trying to think of pretty much everything I know, so give me, give me a little time, you know. Uh, nothing is planned on the show. We should just do it off the cuff and stuff. All right, what else can we talk about? How should a hat fit? All right, a lot of people don't know this. Now, a hat, when you put your hat on, essentially, you want your hat to be very, very close to the ear. Okay, there should be a teeny space between the hat and the ear, as small as you can make it. Um, that's kind of typical. Uh, if the space is really far and the hat is way high above the ear, it's too, too big, okay? If you're seeing gaps on the side, don't be so concerned. We all have gaps on the side. It's just people with bushier hair, you don't notice it or see it. And it also depends on like if the person's short, you don't see under their hat or tall and you see under their hat more or if they wear it back more or down more. It also depends on the color of the sweatband. Is it a contrasting white sweatband or is it just black and black? People all have this gap, okay? We all do. So don't start stuffing stuff in there. It's not gonna do anything because you have like this much gap. If you start putting foam and foam and foam, it, it just does nothing. You need to tighten your hat here, around the front and around the back, mostly in the back. Start in the back. If you need more, like a little horseshoe around the back, kind of like, you know, that much. You need more tightening, you continue it in the front, horseshoe, horseshoe. Start in the back, then more in the front if needed. That way, you're tightening up the hat, so it's tight, 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 the right amount of snugness, and your head, the shape of the head, will break it in and make the shape of the hat. If you need it to stretch more oval, it will stretch. If it's snug enough, like, like a tight pair of shoes, that's supportive, snug. Not tight, supportive and snug, that should be perfect. So... Your, your fit should be here and here. We all have this gap here. Don't worry about it or obsess over it or try to stick things in there. It does nothing. All it does is that if you're trying to like uh, tighten up your hat in the back and the front, it'll make your, your sweatband get lumpy premature before you tighten it enough. So if you tighten it in back and the front, you could get more tightener in without it getting lumpy inside. Generally, when, when I start stuffing a sweatband to tighten it up, I'll stop when I see the band is getting really wavy and, you know, that means I put enough in, I gotta stop. But, um, yeah, it's a more efficient way to tighten up a hat. Now, always go big. I've told you that I never buy a hat small. Um, now, what are some of the big brands and some of the more popular hats out there that a lot of people like? Um, Stetson is one of the biggest, most popular names uh, on the globe. I would say if anybody on the entire planet was polled and <laughs> polled, <laughs> if everybody was uh, questioned and asked, um, what hat companies do you know? Um, right on this line, please. I would say the only ones pretty much on the entire globe that would be known would be Stetson and Borsellino. Stetson is the man who invented the cowboy hat, John B. Stetson. Uh, Borsellino, I think Giuseppe Borsellino, he was a guy who pretty much invented these snap brim, you know, like dress hats and stuff. They were the best at it. Uh, made in Italy, they always did the best. The celebrities wore them, the gangsters wore them, the politicians wore them. They were the best of the best. And uh, they started in like 1857 making those things and stuff. Um, we don't carry them right now because uh, they just went through a bankruptcy. So after they get back like they used to be, we'll continue them. Right now the quality has sort of waned and you could pretty much buy them anywhere. Um, it used to be there was only two places in New York that you could get them. They were super exclusive and the best hats in the world and very custom, all done custom. Now it's different. You could buy them on Amazon. Um, you go to Amazon, they have Borsellinos there. You could buy them at any shop. They're all over. Um, everybody's got them. You want the line, you just get it. You ask for it. And um, the whole United States division went. There's no U.S. division selling them to shops. They come straight from Italy now. And uh, the quality has gone down. The price is way, way up. Um, the uh, beaver hat we used to sell for five fifty six is now a 1000 um, It's like a very big hike. 
So we're not dealing with them right now, although I'm going to say pre-bankruptcy Borsellino is one that you, ones that you bought over five years ago are probably some of the best hats on the planet. Uh, I'm going to say post-bankruptcy ones, you're getting good hats, but you're not getting anything really special and magical about the felt at all. You're spending a lot of money you're getting good designers, but the felt is very, very, very different right now. Um, Stetson is a company that's also gone up and down. They've had their you know issues. They were bought out many years ago by a company called Hatco, who pretty much you know saved a lot of hat companies from bankruptcy. I'd assume you know during the years like when hats were slower, um, they bought up Dobbs and Stetson and Resistol and Charlie One Horse, um, and they um, put you know solid you know good money behind the company and uh, research and development and this and that. They've had low points and high points. Right now they're on probably one of their highest points in at least 20, 30 years. Um, they're doing great designers. Um, they're making beaver hats in the $300 range, which are set just sublime, super thick. Uh, they have a beaver temple called the Metropolitan. Uh, you could get that on our website. They have a shorter brim version called the Benchmark. They have uh, new things coming out next year, an open road and a Stratoliner in the same type of beaver felt. And the prices, instead of like a thousand or twelve hundred bucks or eight hundred bucks, they're like, you know, three fifty these things. So they're a good company right now. They're on a, on a good high. They're on a, you know, if there's a, a bar graph, they're like up here right now. And, um, They've always been the best Western hat company out there. Um, Western connoisseurs might say, well, resist all or this guy or this custom guy. But they're pretty much like a company that's a huge company that has a very big selection for men, for ladies. Huge, iconic things like Tom Mix where the brim's about this big, almost sombrero-like. They have things you could roll up, cheaper things. Prices that starts way, way down, even made in China Stetsons, uh, all over Mexican Stetsons for a medium, American Stetsons that started, you know, 3X, 4X, 5X qualities. Xs are the way they measure the felt quality in Western hats. They don't do it with dress hats, but only Westerns. Um, I think Stetson might have started it right inside of the sweatband. You'll see it like inside, it'll say, you know, 4X and there'll be X, 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 X. 4X and up is 100% fur, generally rabbit fur. If it's a 3X, it's a blend of wool and fur. 2X, a blend or, you know, whatever, or it's barely any, any fur at all. But generally, when it's a 4X, it's 100% rabbit fur. When you start going up the, the chain to 6X and stuff, the felt gets thicker, it gets softer, and there's, you know, they start throwing some beaver in. Um, we don't know how much, you know, so we... We take their word for it, but uh, you can feel it. The felt is nicer and it responds better under the steamer. It reshapes more times, more efficiently, more accurately. They last you longer, better water repellency. They don't lose their shape. Man, I'm rambling. This is like one long sentence, this whole thing. I got a lot of information to tell you. X's go up and up and up, and the prices sail. And what happens is there's literally 100 X's inside there in gold. They stamp, you know, it's really cool. 100X hats can be super, super expensive. Um, 100X beaver essentially is supposed to be from the chest of the beaver, the, the softest underneath fur that's the most expensive, and they use that 100% for the hat. I don't know what else is in there. Stiffeners, dyes, waterproof agents, all sorts of oils and this and that that they add to it. But um, they're good hats. Um, I'm going to say anything that's like a 4X or a 6X is going to really perform for you. You could have it for life. <laughs> if you want to get into a premium hat, I would suggest the 10X. The 10X, the 20X, the 30X, these hats all really feel about the same. And when you go up to 100X, you know, you feel a little difference, but not a lot of difference. They have this other feel. They're very, very thick. And the edges are like razor sharp. They have these edges that kind of like are honed to these really sharp, sharp edges. So, you know, picture a thick hat that just tapers to this like razor sharp. And so when you look at it, you're like, wow, the quality. And the texture of it is like the softest velvet you could possibly imagine. That's like you're touching it and you don't even like feel it. It's so like soft almost, you know. Um, 
they're amazing. I suggest the 10X. We have one called the Tycoon we sell. It was on a few videos. I think uh, Lil Nas and what's that other guy in his video? Um, Billy Ray Cyrus. Those guys were wearing it in the video. They'll probably make you not want to buy it, I'm sure. But if you see their video for Old Town Road, I think it was a black one and a white one that we supplied for that video or something. Um, and... Stetson even asked us, they called us, they said, are you getting more uh, calls for uh, Stetson hats because Old Time Road video? And we're like, what? What video? And then like two weeks later, it blew up and stuff, you know, and everybody knew. Um, that's a higher end Western hat. Um, it's like the Rancher, which is their most sort of iconic Texas, you know, real deal Western, most popular model they sell is the Rancher. Uh, the Rancher is the one that goes 4X, 6X, all the way up to 100X and, and higher. So that's their most popular style. The Tycoon is a Rancher with a lower crown. Most people like that better. The high crown is not for everybody. It's very dramatic and very rodeo, Texas looking. Some people like a lower crown on a Rancher. That's what the Tycoon is. It also has a self band. The band itself is made out of the same felt. It's like a little strip of the felt with like a little belt buckle made out of like gold and white gold and some of them have like diamonds and rubies. I don't think the 10X has that, but some of them have a little bling as they start getting more expensive. They used to come in like plastic and wood like cases to display them in with certificates and brushes and all this stuff. I don't think the 100X is doing it. They might. I don't know. We don't sell them. They come in like a allocator case, you know, like a piece of luggage with, you know, like locks and stuff. Um, you know, when you're spending a thousand bucks, I guess you should get that. But um, the X thing is only for Western hats, so don't be uh, obsessed with it. Figure 4X and 6X is good stuff. 4X is good. 6X is, you know, we spent a little more, get a better model. 10X is like when you start getting into, it says 10X Beaver. Starts getting into that really luxury stuff. The 20X, the 30X, the 40X, all those things. Well, 50X, I don't think there's a 40 20, 30, the 50, all those X's feel a lot like the 10X. There's not a huge difference. Um, that's my opinion. I think uh, the 10 for a super duper hat, it's like 450 or something. Maybe, I don't know, 425. And I think we're running 20% off of everything right now for the COVID uh, disaster. Um, and um, yeah, you can find out there's a code you have to put in, I think, and you get 20% off, which is huge. It's like almost 100 bucks, I think, like 90 bucks off a Tycoon. So that's a good deal. Um, regular, like a 6X Rancher or something is a lot less. It's more like $275. And, uh, you know, I don't know how much off of that. You figure at least 200 you're going to be paying, I guess, or maybe a little less with the 20% off. That's the, you know, the good 4X six, six quality. You start to get into the higher X's and stuff. We don't really carry them. We do the 10 because it's a beautiful, beautiful hat. And it seems like enough. 450 is enough for most people to spend on a Western hat. And the luxury is there. Um, now, Westerns come full out Western, like the Rancher. They also come in what they call crossover hats, which is a little touch of Western, but something you could wear with your overcoat or your t-shirt, and you won't look like you're coming off a cowboy film or something. They have lower tops. The brims aren't all curled up and, you know, like really buckaroo, like, you know. They're kind of a little bit more mellow. You could look up the Stetson Dune, D-U-N-E. Uh, Stetson Dune, the Stetson Open Road is a shrunken down tiny little uh, rancher about this size with a snap brim like a fedora. Um, that's a great hat. There's all sorts of things. The Stradaliner. There's a new flat brim look that's huge now. We have a, a hat called the Tri-City with a flat as a board brim. Gorgeous bound edge, silver belly with a cool like a rust colored trim. And, uh, it's awesome. We actually ordered it in four colors, so I don't know what's gotten there recently because I haven't been to the shop in many months, but uh, one of my customers said he bought a, a Silver Belly Tri-City from us, and I know that Stetson's starting to send us new things. We're getting some Stetson uh, straws in, this and that, so it looks like the pipeline is starting again, and they're starting to ship us, which is a great thing. Um, what else can we talk about? What about size? Okay. A lot of people get confused with size. I 
I talked in my last uh, video, not the one right before this, but two before this, I talked about hat sizes, small, medium, large. We said something like small is below this painting. Um, below the painting is small. This painting would be medium. Seven to seven, one eighth is medium. And then above the painting would be quarter, seven and a quarter, seven and three eighths is large, okay? The ceiling would be half to five eighths, seven and a half, seven to five eighths is extra large. Large is quarter to three eighths, all right? Um, there is also a lot of other size stuff. So we're gonna get into that in the next video. I'm gonna try to keep these a half an hour long. So um, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys all about metric sizes, 57, 58, etc. okay? It's gonna be in the next video. So you guys take care. Let's keep them a half hour so people don't get bored. Stay tuned because I got a lot, lot more rambling for you. Here you are.